today's video is going to be a kind of random favorites video because it's completely random. Like, it's not the end of the month, the start of a new month. It's just, blank Thursday. Well, for you guys, Friday. But I thought, hey, why not upload a video? I'm, like, louder than usual because I'm so hyper. The fall season pumpkin spice lattes are back. Let's get started into this random favorites video. We're going to be starting off with candles. Um, this first one is by Batch 11. This is their Montpellier Pumpkin uh, Maple Fragranced Candle. This goes for $14. This smells like maple and pumpkin heaven. Okay? So, I've really been loving this. Just like, I don't know. <laughs> I've just really been loving this pumpkin flavored scented thingamabobbers are like my favorite things ever pumpkin like my favorite fragrance ever so yeah i've been loving that another thing that i've been loving for like before i go to sleep okay things are falling now um something that i've been loving to light before i go to sleep it's this hotty hothy i don't know but it's spelled h-a-t-h-i so Tell me how to pronounce it in the comments down below, please. But this is their Exotic Currents Richly Scented Candle. This goes for $16. And basically the first thing that comes to my head is like... Chai Latte. Um, you know Tivana? They have this one, like the Monkey Oolong tea with something else. This basically smells like that. So it's like candle version of that Tivana drink. If you don't know what drink that I'm meaning, then it just smells like really Indian spiced tea. Okay. <laughs> Next, we're going to move on to nails, I guess. I just have one nail color or nail polish, not nail color. This is the Sinful Colors Professional Nail Polish and Easy Going. This is basically like a white, pink, muted thing nude. Okay. Pink Muted Nude. There we go. Uh, basically, you only need two coats of this and you're done. So it is very opaque for a $2 polish. I kind of wanted to keep things mainly drugstore, but I do have a little bit of high-end things. So please excuse me. But uh, yeah, I've really been loving this. It's just a really pretty color. I'm probably going to be getting into those warmer kind of chocolatey shades because... It's fall, or maybe like a deep plum purple on the nails, but this is what I've been loving for an everyday basis. Moving on to more makeup related items. The first thing that I've been loving is something that I've been loving, that's a lot of loving, <laughs> for the past maybe two, three months, or since whenever this came out. This is the Anastasia Artist Palette. I believe this was limited edition, so sorry if you can still get this, but if you can, then definitely get this. I they, bleh. <laughs> they do have the World Traveler Artist Couture Palette, I believe it's called, out, and that's pretty similar to this, except it's more shimmer colors, as what I've seen from the photos. So that's another palette. Um, I'm not going to tell you to, to <laughs> I can't talk, to go out and buy it, because I have not... Um, tried it myself but like you can type in Anastasia World Traveler Artist Couture Palette something like that and see reviews um also go on Sephora because they have all the reviews so make sure that the reviews are good before you buy this and the reviews were super good so I decided hey let's go and buy this I did not get this at Sephora I got this at Ulta because when I went to Sephora they did not have this in stock or they just did not have it at all but Ulta definitely had this or still has this but I haven't seen it around but this is the perfect like everyday palette and you might be thinking oh what about this what about this what about this who cares about this stuff because you can just take away all the bright colors and use the nudes like you can use this shade uh dusty rose aubergine um beigely and like there you have the perfect look but you can take away all the nudes and do a bright look with um fresh anaconda unicorn see i practically like know all the shades I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm obsessed. And it was a pretty good price. This was only $30. As I was saying, I believe all Anastasia um, 
palettes are $30 from what I've seen. But I really do recommend this palette. If you still can get your hands on it, I believe they do sell most of these shades in single eyeshadows, like the pan eyeshadows, which are $12, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure they have Dusty Rose and Aubergine and Cole because I've seen people use it in single eyeshadows. So... This is probably my most favorite out of all of them. I was just going to throw it back like, yep, we're done with this, but no. It's too precious. Next, we have a concealer. This is the NYC Liquid Concealer in Medium. This is a perfect drugstore option if you just want to do touch-ups. That's what I use it for. So just take a little, just dab it on any blemishes that I have and my under eye area. Blend it out with my next favorite, which is, ugh, actually a beauty blender and, um... This is not the full size. This is it before it has been dampened and rinsed with water. So make sure to dampen it and rinse it and squish it in the water. Otherwise, it's just going to soak up all the product and it's not going to blend very well. I've actually tried that before. So if you want to like see me do a demo on this, like this video because I'll show you what it looks like and everything. For those of you who are confused. Because a lot of you are like, uh, $20 for this little sponge? No, but it's probably like twice the size so these two together are like heaven okay moving on to lips this first one is this NYX black label lipstick and this is in the shade dusty rose this is like the perfect shade for fall it's this dusty rose mauve nude shade I've been loving this that is what it looks like right there beautiful 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 um I'm pretty sure one of these lipsticks are like $5. I'm not sure. I got these in a set. Um, as you know, this is one of the things that I got in my Ulta haul. If you have not seen my Ulta haul, I will link it down below for those of you who have not seen it. I've just said like seen it, seen it, seen it like five times. So, excuse me. But I've been loving this paired with my next favorite, which is... Um, this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, they're both NYX products, and they go perfectly together. This is Stockholm, which is basically the same color, except this one is more brown almost and more nude. It's not pinky. I'll just let you guys decide. So that's Stockholm. This one, the Dusty Rose one, isn't matte, but this one is. I want to see what this one looks like over top the Dusty Rose one, so I'll show you guys, because they practically are like the same color. So I just put um, Stockholm over Dusty Rose, so that's what it looks like. It basically just gives it a, oh god my voice, basically just gives it a nice kind of brown cappuccino Kylie Jenner lip move. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Um, next, for mascara, we have this L'Oreal Full Definition Voluminous Mascara. Basically, I use this every day if I want long, voluminous lashes, but I don't want, like, false lashes. So, the wand is curled up, if you guys can see that. So, it's, like, in a slight U shape, which is perfect because it kind of gets that really curly butterfly effect on your lashes and I've been loving that for every day. Speaking of L'Oreal, this next product is also by L'Oreal. This is the 12 hour infallible super slim liquid eyeliner in black and this is a felt tip. If you guys can see, very sharp, very precise. Let me just swatch that for you. Very, very black. That's just one swipe. I've been loving this for eyeliner because it is practically just this very sharp point rather than liquid eyeliners, which can be, you know that, like, kind of square shape? I don't know. <laughs> but this, I've just been loving for, like, small wings, big wings, cat eyes, everything. This basically can do everything. Now, moving on to probably, like, the star of the show, or, like, the second star of the show. I got this also in my Ulta haul. This is the Urban Shadow in Zodiac. It's this beautiful green emerald. I will have kind of um, a close-up and more in-depth of the color on the website. So let me go check on the website because I'm horrible at describing colors. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my computer out here to do the research. This is the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow, which goes for $21. And this is in the shade Zodiac. 
what it looks like. Oh, just dip my finger in that. This is what the shade looks like. It is described as a smoky black with a blue-green shift and blue-green 3D sparkle. So this looks absolutely beautiful. I will snap a closer picture of it because um, it shows up better on the Sephora screen, but I don't want to shove it in your face. Another shade that I was thinking about getting uh, was Diamond Dog, which is a deep brown with white gold sparkles, but it was sold out, so I couldn't get that. And um, another one that I wanted was Space Cowboy, which is a light champagne with bright silver sparkle, but I decided to get the... Um, Goodbye, computer. The glitter eyeliner form because I felt like I would wear that more. And I've had that for a while. And I've absolutely been loving that. Um, but yeah. I think that's all of my favorites for this video. Hang on. Let me, let me, I'll be right back. Let's quickly talk about brushes. Because I haven't done a brush video, like, ever. I think I haven't ever, like, included any, like serious talk about brushes so I'm gonna give you like a brief overview of some of my favorite brushes but then next video I will definitely try to do like a full in-depth video about brushes so quickly favorite brush brand that is more on the drugstore side is definitely BH Cosmetics I have their pink a dot brush set and my favorites from that set is definitely the powder brush these brushes are very soft and the set was only like $20 I think I also love the angle contour blush brush I promise here is a close-up of that Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow in Zodiac. If you use a light coverage foundation, it's going to appear very streaky, but I've tried with heavier to full coverage foundations, and it has worked perfectly. Another one that I love is also from the Pink -a Dot brush set. It's the crease brush, the big fluffy one, and also the flat shader brush, the gigantic one. Not gigantic, but like bigger than normal, you know? <laughs> um... I've been loving those, so yeah. But I will definitely do a more in-depth brush talk because, I don't know, I feel like I've just like told you, yeah, I've been using this brush for highlighter, this for foundation, but I've never really talked about brushes, so I feel like I should do a brush talk video. But <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this long jibber-jabber video, and I just put my swatch stained hand on my leg, and now my leg is stained pink with my hand <laughs> Help me. but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this long jibber jabber talking about random favorites video if you want to see more like random in the month non schedule videos what was I doing with this brush go back to your home please if you want to see more like unscheduled kind of random vlogs or like random favorites throughout the month make sure to go there <laughs> make sure to, no don't go there make sure to like this video and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next one and i will try to link below most of these products if they are still available because as i said before you can also see your artist palette but i will try to link below all of these products so that you guys can go buy them and test them out for yourselves and i will see you guys in my next one bye loves